Hey everybody, it's Mr. Brown here, and welcome to our first day of online classes. I hope you're all doing well, and I want to let you know before we start that I miss you very much, okay? And if you need anything from me, please let me know. Today, we're going to be reviewing fractions. You might have noticed that I circled the word review, and that's because it is a review. So for some of you, you might say, Mr. Brown, I already remember how to do this, but we're going to take steps just like you would in class to make sure we review the basics before we start jumping into more difficult types of problems. Okay? And with that said, let's get started. As you can see here, I have one pizza. I have one whole pizza. So I'm going to title this pizza my whole. Let's make it a little bigger. So right here I have my whole. Okay? When we talk about fractions, we talk about taking equal parts of a whole, okay? So for this pizza example, I want to turn it into four equal parts or four equal pieces. So remember when I draw my fractions, when you draw yours, you know, it's I'm not going to get a ruler out right now, not yet, and we're not going to make sure it's exactly perfect. We're going to estimate, okay? So here's, I cut it into two pieces. There's my two equal pieces. And I cut it again, and now I have four equal pieces. So I'm going to write down over here, I have four. Those are the numbers of equal pieces I have, okay? Now let's say I want to eat a piece, because normally when you have pizza, I don't know about you, but I know about me, I like to eat a piece of pizza. So I'm going to uh, select, let's use a different color, that one's not doing too well. Let's use pink. I want to select one of these pieces of pizza. Okay? So I've eaten one out of four pieces of these pizzas. So there's four total, and I ate one of them, which means I've eaten uh, one. Oops, I want to do it in pink. One fourth. And we would write that as this is our fraction. We could also use words to write one fourth. Okay, they're the same thing. So, I first I had to split it up into four equal parts, and then I selected one piece, one piece out of my whole. The numerator, or this is called the numerator right here. I'll write it down. That tells me how many pieces I have selected, and my denominator. Denominator. There we go. That tells me. No, that's the one. No, that's right. There we go. Uh, that tells me how many pieces I have total. So my numerator is the number of pieces I've selected. My denominator tells me the number I have total. Okay. Uh, let's give you an example to work on. Let's see if I can erase some of this. There we go. That's better. And boop. Let's see if you guys can help me figure out this one. Okay. So here I have my pizza fraction again. I'm going to cut it into four equal pieces. Let's make that line a little straighter. Okay, one more try. I know I'm going to stick with it. Look at that. Almost perfect. Okay. And let's say instead of eating uh, one piece, I eat two pieces. There's one. And there's two. See if you can find what fraction of the pizza I've ate. eaten. And we're back. Uh, if you were to think about like I did, I knew I had... Um, four total pieces, so I put my four on the bottom, and I have two pieces that I selected, so my answer is two-fourths, okay, I have two-fourths a piece of pizza. Yeah. You can also think of it as one-half of a piece, because if I combine these two, which I did, I've eaten half the pizza, so that's another way to think about it. Now let's try a different problem. Here I have 
two new shapes. I have a square and I have a rectangle. My square, we're going to start with first. My square, I know it's a hole. So I'm just labeled at the top here. That's my hole. I have one whole square. I'm going to cut it into three pieces. Let's go one. Three. So here I have my, oops, no, it didn't turn out great. One, two, three. There we go. I have three pieces, and I've selected one of them. There we go. I've selected one of them. So once again, I can think about this as I had three pieces, and I have selected one of them. So I have one third. Now let's try to turn this around and let's do this. Here I have my fraction bar right here, or uh, my little rectangle rather. I know that this is once again my hole because I have a whole rectangle. And let's say I want to make it into one eighth. Okay. So sit for a minute and think. How many pieces do I have to cut my rectangle into? So hopefully you're able to figure it out that because my denominator, my bottom number, my, is 8, I need to cut it into 8 equal pieces. So I'm going to pause the video because it might take me a minute, and then I'm going to have it in, the, in 8 different pieces. And here I've cut it into 8 equal pieces. Uh, you can count. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight. I have eight equal parts of my whole, meaning I'm working in eighths, and I selected one piece of that eighths. Okay, uh, let's move on to a different problem, and I'm going to have you uh, do this one. So let's take a look at this fraction that we drew. Uh, I want you to think about uh, what is the shaded fraction? What is the fraction I have here in this little uh, circle that I've cut into these equal parts? So think about how many parts I have total, and also think about how many parts I've selected. Okay? Uh, go ahead and try that out now. So if you count them, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 parts. So I know I have 8 on the bottom. 8 is my denominator. And I have two of those parts selected. So I have two eighths. Okay? Now I want you to take a look at this next problem I have. Okay? I want you to think about the same thing. What is the shaded fraction? Okay? So you might look at this uh, shape and say, it's one-fourth. You selected one, and there's four parts. But remember, when we deal with fractions, it's not good enough to just be parts. They have to be equal parts. So this one does not have equal parts. So it is, I put in big red letters, it is oh, big red letters, not a fraction. Okay? Um, I do have four pieces, but they're not equal. That's like if this is a candy bar or something, and I say this is your piece and this piece is my piece. They're not even. That wouldn't be equal. That wouldn't be fair. Okay? So uh, with that, I think that uh, well, I'll have a couple more problems for you to do in the Pear Deck as well as um, a few more at the end of this video. Uh, today, we reviewed fractions, and that's what we did. Uh, take a minute. Okay, you have time to complete this. So take your time. If you need something, if you need help, uh, you can schedule an appointment with me. We can meet on Google Hangouts. Uh, or you can email me, and I can help you with any questions you have. All right, have a great day, and hopefully talk to you soon. Bye.